today? Oh, I'm good. How are you doing? You must be pretty excited because your socks are going to the ALCS. Yeah, man. Uh, I've been watching the. I watched the last two games, two walk offs uh, back to back. It's pretty exciting, honestly. Uh, I'm pretty fired up. So uh, hopefully they, they can keep the magic going a little bit. Yeah, I mean, as a guy who used to work at Fenway, like, is it uh, maybe a little bit more extra special whenever they're playing well? Uh, maybe a little bit. I, I mean, I definitely, I was a fan before I started working there, but kind of through that experience, it only kind of grew even more. Um, it's cool too for me. I, I still go and see, uh, watching the game, I go see all my old friends working on the grounds crew. Um, I actually got uh, one of my good buddies from the grounds crew. He's coming down to the game this week. So uh, it, it's, it's exciting. So. I want to ask you about the, um, uh, some of the things y'all started doing in the run game this past week. It looked like y'all were pulling linemen like a lot more than you had maybe before. Was that sort of a new implement, uh, sort of new thing in the offense? And when did y'all implement that? Yeah, um, I mean, there, really, there's there's some of like our uh, day one, two, three plays. Um, you know, we've had those plays in since camp, um, and we felt that we've been that's when one of our uh, stronger plays um, from offensive line standpoint. Um, so it was good. We we uh, we kind of committed to those plays over the weekend, and we had a little success with it. So. Um, yeah, hopefully that's something we, we can continue to build on moving forward. Hey, Liam. Um, with um, all the speculation going around with um, Coach O's job status and everything, how have you all you know handled that in the locker room as you you know still try to plug and you know get this get this thing turned around and win some football games? Um, yeah, that's I'm not I'm not even thinking about that at all. Uh, you know that's. That's not anything that I could control or any any of my teammates can control. You know what what we're focused on every week is just preparing for for our opponent. Which this week is Florida, and we got it's it's going to be a big game for us. You know, obviously, it's been a tough start to the year for us. None of us wanted to be in the situation, but uh, the only thing that we can do is keep fighting. You know, and and we have an opportunity to get a big win at home this week, so we got to do everything we can to get ready for it. Hey, Liam, this is uh, Gwen West here. Um, you guys obviously face, you know, probably one of the more elite pass rushing duos in the, in the country this week with uh, Zachary Carter and Brenton Cox coming uh, to Death Valley. Just, I guess, talk about the challenge of an offensive line of trying to block two guys like that who are so good at, you know, getting after the quarterback and making plays in the backfield. Yeah, I mean, they're they're yeah. good players um, between those two and then uh, some other guys they got. They're, they're a really talented bunch. Um, yeah, I, I remember both those guys from, from our game last year. So, you know, it's going to be a challenge for us, and it's going to be something we, you know, we have to we have to put it together this weekend and, and be ready to play our best game on Saturday. Hi, um, I'm Leanne from The Advocate. Um, I wanted to know, the offensive line has been the subject of a lot of scrutiny this season. I wanted to know if you could pinpoint what the certain weaknesses are and how y'all are attacking them in practice. Um, yeah, in terms of scrutiny, you know, that's not, you know, I, at least for me and my teammates, I, I don't really try to pay attention to anything that, that's being said outside of this building. Uh, you know, something that Coach O says and, and I really believe in is the only people that can control the outcome of our games and our season are the people in this building. So, um, yeah, I, I don't want to get too much into, into the details uh, of that. But, um, you know, every, every week, like I say, every time I'm up here, you know, we we got to address what we uh, – see what we did well, what we did bad, where we have to improve um, and just, you know, m keep moving forward. Liam, obviously you're with Max all the time. Uh, he's at kind of the halfway point of his first full season as a starter. What would you say he's really done well this year and kind of what are the areas where he's looking to continue to improve? Yeah, you know, I think Max has done a really good job this year. Um, you know, he, he has a lot on his plate. Um, and the, what I what I try to do um, and what we have to do as not an offensive line, um, running backs, receivers, tight ends is – you know, we have to do everything we can to, to kind of make it easier for him because, you know, he's got the most on his plate as, as a quarterback. Uh, you know, and I, I think that he's done a really good job uh, this year um, so far. But, you know, we just have to keep doing everything we can to make it easier on him um, so he can, you know, just play more free and more comfortably and, and, and confidently. Is there maybe a moment or a play where you really saw a good bit of growth from him? Um, I don't know if I can pinpoint one moment, but, you know, he's just – 
what's what's impressed me about Max is you know he's he's really got kind of a what next what's next mentality um, that that we talk about. Uh, you know he he's not afraid. Uh, you know if something goes wrong or he gets hit hard, you know he's always he pops right up um, and, and he's ready to go to the next play. So uh, that's something that that I, I find kind of admirable admirable in him. Hey Liam, I know you say you guys just you know focus on the things you can control, but how, how was the the team in the locker room rallying around Coach O right now? Um, yeah, I mean, every, like we're all in, man. Um, you know, they is we've been working like really hard for this. Um, it's been really it's been disappointing, you know. Everyone knows that uh, the start of the season, but uh, you know, like we we're playing like we we're playing as hard as we can and. and uh, like moving forward, that's all. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna keep playing hard. We're gonna do everything that we can to prepare ourselves for this Saturday against Florida. Uh, so, yeah. Hey, Liam. Um, obviously, you guys lose a, a huge piece there in Kayshawn this last week. I'm just wondering if we could get your reaction to that news, and then as well as you know, you know, I wanted to ask about Jack Beck as you know potentially a guy who could really step in and kind of be a go-to option now for Max. I know he's been targeting him a lot on third downs, but just uh, do you think, you know, Jack and, you know, some of those freshman receivers are ready to take on a bigger, you know, workload? Yeah, I mean, in terms of Kayshawn, uh, that's just horrible news, um, you know, that he's going to be missed miss the rest of the year. I um, really hate that for him. Um, you know, he's someone who he's really been uh, one of the bright spots on the team, and, and you know, he's earned that uh, throughout the off season. So I really hate, hate to see that happen to him, but, uh, you know, there's still a lot of talent in the wide receiver room, um, like Jack Besh, like you mentioned, a lot of the, of the other freshmen. Um, you know, there's there's more than enough talent in there for guys to step up. Um, you know, and that could be that could be something that'll be interesting interesting to see throughout the rest of the year to see who can uh, kind of fill those shoes. Hey Liam, I'm gonna pivot back to the whole Boston Red Sox stuff. I wanted to know how you got the job at Fenway and uh, who's coming out to watch you play this weekend. Um, yeah, I actually, so my freshman year at Harvard, I was just looking for a summer job. Um, you know, it's, it's a little different, uh, as a football player at Harvard to LSU, um, in terms of finding work and stuff for the summer. But, you know, I thought that'd be a cool gig. Uh, I saw a posting for it. Um, next thing you know, it's like my full-time job for three or four years. So, uh, really couldn't have had a, a better summer, summer job in college, I think. But yeah, the guy who's coming down, uh, uh, Brendan Gallagher. He's he actually uh, he's one of my good friends from home, um, and he he went to school in, in Boston too. So after I got the job, I told him that he should apply too. Um, you know, so then it ended up being kind of he's one of my best friends from my childhood, and then we we had that uh, that job uh, together, and it only made us even closer. So um, I'm looking forward to him coming down here this week.